YouTube golf coaches have been lying to you. There is no perfect golf swing. All you can do is manage what you've got on the day in order to play your best golf. Okay? So hi, I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Golf Professional. If it's your first da time down to the channel, welcome. I'm here to help you play your best golf and all our content on the channel comes from you. Whatever you're struggling with in your golf game, I'm here to help. Right, so let's have no longer any lying. This is what you need. So we're down here at the 14th. We're gonna play this entire hole um, and it's a tricky one. Now, let's start with this, right? If you are a golfer who hooks it from the tee, so has a considerable right to left movement and the ball finishes in the trees left majority of the time, what I want you to think about on the tee is standing here, opening yourself up a little bit, it's gonna sound a little bit strange this, and really trusting that you're gonna make the hands a bit more passive and you're gonna try and fade this golf ball. You're gonna try and slice this golf ball back into play. Now, in reality, it might come out quite straight. So you maybe have to play around with how left you're aiming. But my point is, go and feel the opposite. So let's take this one away. So if you're a hooker at the golf ball, I'm gonna aim myself a little bit left. I'm gonna feel as though I get more of this move through the golf ball, just like this. Mover, back in play. Whew. It's about managing your own game. Now, if you are a slicer of the golf ball, which um, many of us are probably, this is the bit for you. Can you see where we're going with this? So many golf coaches are teaching you to get the perfect swing. And yes, they're not saying for one minute that that's wrong, but it's about managing what you've got on the day. So if you are a slicer of the golf ball from the tee, we're gonna strengthen that grip. We're gonna pull that right foot back. We're gonna swing smooth and really release that golf club through impact. Let's have a look at this here. Aim a little bit right, right shoulder low. Get it releasing back in play. Didn't draw that much, but it certainly didn't slice. So the rule from the tee, before we move down the fairway, is simply this, feel the opposite. If you're a slicer, feel a hook. If you're a hooker, feel a slice. Let's move down the fairway. So this video is all about helping you manage your game on your worst day, which we know. Someone said this to me the other day, actually. Goal's one of them games that we actually only play, well, we keep playing, but play terribly sometimes, 80% of the time. It's mad, isn't it, really? You play worse more than you play better. So you better learn these tricks. So coming up irons, most of us, and let's just get a yardage, I think we're just over 150 here. It's tough green, this. So this is that uh, sort of island green, not island green, but raised green here on um, 14. Just over 150 yards, 153. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we need to be able to hit the green. So the little things I want you to make sure of here is, is getting that downwards hit, getting that ball first contact. So the little trick is moving the ball a little bit back in your stance. So just one golf ball back in your stance from where you would have normally. So you can see on the screen here, if this was the position I would normally have my eight iron, we're gonna move it just a little bit further back we're gonna grip down so we can not just see one inch at the top of the club, we can see two. And we're gonna move our weight just to our left. We're gonna hit some punch shots. Because everything about a punch shot gives you control, gives you more of a downwards hit and helps you get a perfect strike quicker. So here we go. Make those compensations. Give yourself a chance. More chance of hitting the green. We're taking it a tight line over the bunker, but we're on the green, we're dancing. So let's head up to the green and look at the third point, the final point, which, short game. If we're not finding greens and we're playing our worst golf, this is honestly, why are you not doing it? It's scary. So we're now on the green. This is the rule of thumb you've got to use. First ball, if you can put it, please, 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 just put it. Get the ball rolling as quick as we can. I'll tell you what, this is not an easy putt here. A little left to right. So if you can put it, 
put it. Next up, if you can chip it, run it. Now, your club selection for this chip and run may change depending on your situation. The longer you've got to chip and run it, the less you've got to go over, you might be inclined to use something more like a seven iron. But in this situation, I've gone 50 degree. I need to sort of get that ball rolling. I'll tell you what, I've put myself in some situations here, haven't I? Tuffy. To get it running down towards that flag. Could that go left at the end? Finally, final rule of thumb is last resort, get it in the air. So getting it in the air, and what I want to think about here is, it's usually most people's first resort. Now in this situation, it is going to really require me to get that ball up into the air. So I've now got my most lofted club. We're going to get a little bit spicy with it. Get it up in the air and get that ball landing soft. But that needs to be your last resort, not your first. So hope you enjoyed today's video. There's some tricks from the tee, some tricks on the fairway, and some tri tricks around the green to help you lower your scores on your worst day. Because unfortunately, golf's just one of them games. Thanks for watching.